Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today I'm going to share with you how you're able to use Samsung's camera shift feature to edit your photos on your Samsung Galaxy device. Now essentially what camera shift means is that you're able to use AI to edit your photo after the fact, almost as if the original photo, you either raised the phone up, maybe you took the phone down a little bit, or you even raised it and tilted the device. So that is pretty much what we are able to do with editing photos to change the, the shift of the camera. So what you would want to do first is head over inside of your Galaxy Store. And then once inside of the Galaxy Store on the top right hand side, this is where you search for Galaxy Enhance X. So you just search it right up there in the search bar. And once you find the Galaxy Enhance X application, which is made by Samsung, this is where you can download it and get it installed. Now, Galaxy Enhance X is not brand new by any means, but they do keep adding new features and updating it so they work a little bit better. Now, the last update was just a couple days ago on May 7th. Now, once you have the application downloaded and installed, you open it up, and then this is where you're able to choose your picture or video. Now, what I'm gonna do is I just have two photos that I'm gonna do as examples for this video. I have one of me and my son, and then one of, I guess you can say, Papa Jimmy's promo and Mama Jimmy's promo. Now, what you can see with this when you first open it up is you can see the option for camera shift. Now, if you don't see this option immediately, maybe that could mean that you can't use the feature of camera shift, or you can actually just find it right here inside of people and faces. Now, this is right here again where camera shift is sitting. Now, one of the most important things in order for a camera shift to actually work is you have to make sure that your subject has the full entire body in the shot all the way from the feet up to the head. So now that you have chosen your photo, this is where you select camera shift. And then you have your slider that you can take a look at the before and as well as after. Now, if you're not seeing the results or change that you're looking for, there's a few different things you can do with this page. Now, you will also notice when you use this option right here that there will be slight differences between the two different options. Now, the other thing that you can also do is you're able to smooth this little slider. And then when you move the slider, you can see even more differences. This is just the, the intensity of what you're doing with the height. So this very first option here is height. And when you actually move this around, it's almost as if you brought the phone up and then brought the phone up even more. And you can see it with this little arrow indicating if you're kind of bringing the phone down a little bit or if you're bringing it up. Now, what it's essentially really doing is it's kind of elongating either the bottom or the top. Now, this is where you can use your slider to go back and forth to figure out exactly what, you know, which version you like better, either the before or the after. Now you can see here with the after, I'm getting just a little bit taller. Um, or what it could also be doing is it's changing the length of either the bottom changing the length of the top, or it's either, you know, enlarging or shrinking the head size, which would again kind of give you that little effect of moving it up or down or even tilting. So let's say that we look right here. You can kind of see what I look like, you know, with the before and the after. So when it comes down to the tilt, you can see it moving again right there with the little animation, letting you know what it's doing with the tilt. And this is where you can see which of the photos is best for you. So if you kind of go to some of the extremes for the height and for the tilt, this is where you can see some of the most biggest differences. Now I will have to state that the camera, I would, you know, is not picking up every single thing that I can see with my own eyes, you know, right, you know, in front of this, but this is where you are able to go through and make some of those edits. So then this way, again, you'd be able to make your photo a little bit better. And again, changing the, the tilt or the height of your phone when it goes down into taking the photo, or, or I should say editing the photo after the fact. So here you can kind of see there's a little bit of differences going on. Pretty much whatever angle you would like to have. So I'm going to keep it right here. So for the height, I moved it all the way over to the right hand side for the tilt. I moved it all the way over to the left and pretty much what it's kind of doing with me is it is kind of making my head slightly bigger. It's making this a little bit longer, this a little bit shorter, again, making me kind of thin out a little bit 
versus what you were able to see before or even kind of beefing you up a little bit in the chest area. So once you kind of go through and you play with these photos, you can really, you know, test it for yourself in real life. Once you like everything you have done, then you can hit on save. So camera shift is just one aspect of the application. There are so many things that you can also do over here. You can brighten. You also have HDR. This right here should be for the color and the light. So you can denoise it, sharpen it, remove the shadows or reflections if that was there. Again, you can also restore the picture. You can do camera shift. You can go into and edit some of, you know, something with your face. Here's people and faces. Again, you have a 24 hour time lapse, the sky guide, single take. And then this right over here is going to be the shape and the size. And now moving on to the second photo, this one over here is going to be of Papa Jimmy is promo and Mommy Jimmy is promo. Now over here, this is where you can see the camera shift option again, because these subjects are full in frame. If you don't see it, you can find it right over here underneath this little face icon. Again, your camera shift. Now, one of the things again that is happening is as if you are moving up the phone a little bit to take the shots. Now, as we know, it's very popular to kind of bring the phone up a little bit, tilt it down to get a little bit better of either a selfie or to get, you know, a portrait shot. So here is the before and then here is the after. And what's kind of happening over here is it seems as if it is elongating the body and then making this a little bit bigger on the very top. Again, kind of slimming him out a little bit or making him just a little bit bigger. Now, next up here is the tilt. And again, if you want to, you can bring it all the way over, put it wherever you would like, and then you're able to see a little bit more of a difference. So this right here, at least for my dad, uh, if I was to bring over the height all the way to the top and then bring up the tilt, it really slims them out versus where it was from before. So it's just really fun to kind of play with this. And it is almost fun again to see what is happening with that line in the background. You can see what it's doing with a little bit of its movements, kind of either, you know, extending the top or extending the bottom. And that is pretty much all that I wanted to share with this. And again, when you're done, you go on the very top and you hit on save. And now this is the saved image that will be sitting in your gallery. And now to show you where those photos are sitting in your gallery, this was the one that I originally created, this little album just called Enhance. It just lets me know that these were the two photos I wanted to edit. And then over here sitting inside of this Galaxy Enhance X folder that was created by the application of Galaxy Enhance X, those are those two edited photos that we hit on save. So this way you have the original as well as the Galaxy Enhanced X saved photos. So that was everything that I wanted to share in today's video. Again, you want to go inside the Galaxy Store, download the Galaxy Enhance X application, select your photo to edit. Again, make sure that your entire subject is within the frame, and then you're able to make a bunch of edits on any of those photos. We we're mostly talking about the camera shift, almost as if you were able to raise the phone, lower the phone, or change the tilt to give you a little shift in the frame of your subject. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.